How hot is our star? It's a good question, and scientists are trying to figure it out. The sun is a big sphere of hot plasma, efficiently producing light and heat at an astonishing rate. Our star is extremely hot. The sun produces its heat by its size. The more massive the object, the more gravitational pressure at its core. So at the center of this giant, it has a giant gravitational pressure. This pressure fuses atoms of hydrogen into atoms of helium. Every second, 600 million tons of the sun's material goes through this nuclear fusion process. This in turn releases energy in the form of light and heat with gamma radiation. The core of the sun is the hottest natural location in our solar system. But what exactly do we mean by the hottest natural location? First, we must look at all the layers of the sun. Some are hot, some are extremely hot. First is the core. This is the central hub of the star. This is where nuclear fusion processes occur and temperatures can reach 15 million degrees Celsius. These subatomic particles of light created in the center of the star are emitted and then absorbed endless times. These subatomic particles are moving and colliding for hundreds of thousands of years before reaching the surface. These particles then spread out into the far reaches of our solar system. Outside of the core is the radiative zone. At this layer, the nuclear fusion process does not occur. So therefore, the temperature drops from around about 7 million to 2 million degrees Celsius. Energy travels through the radiative zone in the form of electromagnetic radiation. This is also known as protons. The convective zone is next. In this layer, the stellar convection consists of the mass movement within the star. This means that it carries plasma material through the layer. The temperatures can vary at this level, but the average temperature is around about 2 million degrees Celsius. And now, at this level, we can finally see the surface of the sun. The sun's surface is the only layer that we can see. This is where the hot plasma meets the cold vacuum of space. The temperature now drops to a more suitable 5,500 degrees Celsius. As we pass through the surface and into the atmosphere of the sun, we find something weird is happening. It is getting hotter. Again, the temperature is rising. The name of this layer is called the chromosphere. This layer rises to a temperature back up to a baffling 20,000 degrees Celsius. But the sun still has something up its sleeve. The outer atmosphere, better known as the corona, is an elegant glow around our hot star. The corona can be seen when full eclipses occur. These filaments of plasma can stretch hundreds of miles into empty space. The corona churns and compresses the gas into superheated temperatures. This temperature can rise to 1 million degrees Celsius. Even surprisingly, some of the parts of the corona can reach 10 million degrees Celsius. That is a mind-blowing temperature and baffling at the same time to think that the atmosphere of the sun can be hotter than its surface. How can the atmosphere of the sun be astronomically hotter than the layers inside of it? This is one of the unanswered questions that scientists are figuring out to this day. At this time, there are two leading theories. One is that waves of energy are being released from the surface of the sun sending heat and energy into the solar atmosphere, creating a superheated corona. The second theory theorizes that the sun's magnetic field pushes energy and heat into the corona. This happens by the currents collapsing and then reconnecting. Scientists have the best instrumentation and technology to answer these questions. Obviously our sun is not the only star in the universe there are much hotter stars than our sun. This is the realm of the blue supergiant stars, and HD 93129A takes the top prize. This supergiant star is around about 7,500 light years away from Earth, and its surface temperature is around 50,000 degrees Celsius. 
To put that in perspective, the sun's surface temperature is around about 5,500 degrees Celsius. But the overall hottest temperatures in the universe for stars will probably be the neutron stars. This is a star at a different phase in its life to our sun. Alternatively, neutron stars produce their energy and heat in a different way. But neutron stars can burn at temperatures of over 1 billion degrees Celsius. But sadly, the huge number of neutrinos that the star emits carries away so much of the energy. This means that the temperature falls within a few years to around about 1 million degrees Celsius. Our universe is full of billions of fuel-guzzling, nuclear fusion-producing, plasma-flowing hotheads, and only one of them is our star, the Sun.